Which lap? I know I've stressed you, but it's fine. All right, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I showed my face here on my YouTube. New haircut, new new standing position, new lighting, new model. But in this video, I'm looking at using two LED lights to light up this shoot, right? Just to create some amazing portraits, as you'll be seeing later on. So I'm using a Canon 6D and an 85 Sigma at 1.4. Um, with the Godox S2 trigger on. So I have my flash, my speed light, right? Speed light is common, everybody can get a speed light. So I have my speed light with um, a snoot on just to light the background in a way that will create, you know, some directional lighting to separate my subject from the background. With the material I have on here, um, that material picks, doesn't really pick up light. So you're going to see it all dark, which I'm going to expose it in post when I am post-processing this image. So the LED lights you're looking at are LED lights I got from Pixel. I don't know if it's Pixel, Pixel. I don't want to confuse it with a Pixel phone. So I will say Pixel, right? Pixel is a brand I I used the speed light, I think, in 2017, which was quite different from all the other speed lights I've used, right? And some time ago, I think two or three weeks ago, they reached out um, wanting to collaborate, which I should test out. Where I test out their LED lights, right? And I decided to use it for today's shoot. I mean, I've been moving them around for quite a while. I mean, I've been wasting your time today, right? And I figured out what I really want to use it for. So I used it immediately, they brought it. I mean, I love the fact that it was an RGB light. More into the specificity later in another video. But in today's video, I'm going to use it to light our beautiful rich lab over here. All right? So before I get into today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you check out the friend who I parasited this model out. Do you want them to come and check you out? Okay, she says she doesn't want you people to come and check her out. I mean, those annoying DMs. Anyways, I'll just leave your handle down in the description. I'll leave mine also. And let's just get into today's shoot. Oh, the full one amount. Be talking. All right. So I just want to be in the frame so that you see I'm the one shooting. All right. We still have. I know. I mean silhouettes, but I know some hair lights be going on like that. Yeah, that's. I mean, like I know what I'm about. You know what I mean? All right, all right. Like I said earlier, um, the pixel, the pixel LED lights I have here, which are the P80 LED lights. Uh, they are 60 watt lights, RGB, they have a CRI of, I think, what I'm mostly concerned about is the CRI, color rendition in this. I think it's 97.8, I'm not really sure. I have to recheck and let you guys know. I mean, I'll just leave it down here or something. One good thing about the Pixel P80 lights, uh, I can connect them to my phone. So there's an app, you scan it on the box or the package you brought, then you get an app. You see what you can do with them. So currently I have my key lights at an intensity of 62 and I have my backlight at an intensity of I think 28. I'm able to control the HSI which is you know the hue saturation and luminance and I have this at daylight so I can change it to warm light which is 3200 Kelvin this is 4000 Kelvin and I want it at daylight balance so 5600 right, and I'll change my my white balance here to a Kelvin of 5600 so that I have daylight balance lighting. All right, I'm about to take a test shot with my camera. All right. So the green backlight is giving me a jarred light. The background is supposed to be green, so I like the fact that I'm having a cast of green onto the background. And this will illuminate the front of my subject. And I have a V flat down here illuminating the downside of my subject also. I really want to mention this. When it comes to shooting with hair lights and backlights, right, I see a lot of people eliminate their hair lights and backlights. Reason is, they mostly have their key lights killing or spreading all over. What I usually do is move my key lights, um, I think, a meter away from my subject, have the edge of the, if I was using a softbox, I'll use the edge of the softbox to light my subject, just so that you see the intensity of the hair lights. So what I will do right now is to turn off the key lights, 
right i'll turn off the key light then i'll take a picture with the headlights currently i have my settings at one over 60 shutter speed f 1.4 iso 400 turn into turn the turn the body yes just like that move your right hand towards you a little bit great this is just the headlight and the flash hitting the background for me right to give me this separation i need so i'm going to turn on the key lights now right and go back and make sure it's 5600 kelvin my intensity at great and let's take another test shot now this one look on me all right so this is a test shot now we can take our pictures turn turn and look at me yeah and let me have your arm spread out yeah cross the leg just like that beautiful so i have the hair light remaining out from the subject i mean remaining out from the background i have my whole greenery set up over here you can see the bounce card bouncing back lights onto her legs so when i'm cropping this i know the way i will crop this let me rotate it this way because i think i'm follow. all right Okay, get closer. Get closer. Yeah, so no. Yeah, tip to tip to the legs. Just look straight ahead. Your right arm, right? Bring it up your tummy. Yeah. Just look straight ahead. Can you act your back? Yeah. And just don't smile. Just look straight ahead. I want to see the pony behind it to so say look straight ahead. Chin up. Yeah, great. Don't smile. Look at me now. Turn the face. Turn, keep turning the face. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Great, just like that. Straighten the head, chin down. Straighten the head. Yeah. Pick, pick this one. Yeah, and play with it. Yeah, just like that. So you have this as your e. I mean, you can play with this too. But I would love. Let me bring this in so I can get Yeah, just like that. I like that. Keep it. No, don't send the eyeballs here. If for anything, if you want to look somewhere, send together with the face. Get it? So yeah, send send the face. Keep sending the face. Yeah, that's fine. I like it. Don't smile. Open your lips. Open your lips. You know what will help? Breathe in and breathe out. I mean, with the lips opening, breathing in and breathing out will help. So straight face, no smiles, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in, let me have, I like the way you hand over, let me have it here, yeah, yeah just like that, just like that.
No, you can hold it. You can hold it with your hands. With your left hand. Monko from me. No, no, Monko from like hold the head. Um, sorry, hold the stock. Yes. See the way your hands are all the way down this way. Let it fall. Yes, just like that. Yeah. I turn. Yeah, let me see. Yes. Then, great. Bring your hand to. Yes. So if you can shift forward a little bit. Yeah. So that. Lovely. Just like that. Ooh, I love this. Keep that. Let's hope it's sharp. If you let me grab this, then you can look on me. So take a look on me. Beautiful. I like this. Yeah, let me shoot it from this direction. So turn towards me. Yeah, just like that. Turn the face towards me. Also, look at me. Now that I've shifted the view, let me bring the light here. Okay. Or can I get some smiles? Smile for Jesus guys. Smile and look down. Yeah. I mean you're looking really good. This is how it's looking. Yeah. What should I say? What do you think I should say? No, I'm just laugh. What do you think? Anything about your work. Anything about my work. I mean, they already know everything about my work, but what do you think about my work? Okay, it's interesting, a bit of stress, but then it's fun as well. We had a good shoot and all, yeah. Are you sure I'm not lying? No. Hey, the way I stressed you, I used my whole share butter to, I mean, it's more of share butter anyways. It's fine with me. All right, so... You guys saw what I did with the LED lights available and also I added flash in there to, you know, give me some separation from the background, creating that spotlight behind the head. It's in a snoot, it's a Godox VH60 Mark II, you can use any speed lights as you want. You saw me use the 6D to create this amazing images you'll be seeing flying around, right? I'm going to share it, do you want me to send them to you or you don't like them or you like what's you okay yeah she she did love them right so make sure you subscribe to the channel which is very important for me i'm hoping you guys get me to 10k by the end of the year so it's like operation 10k for 2022 i mean yeah i need more money to be able to you know pay her and send her to kempiski and where do you want to go zanzibar and stuff yeah. and zanzibar is too small yeah. okay yeah, zanzibar and tension you understand we need to go and chill and stuff please Please don't come and beat me, whoever is watching this, I <laughs> beg you. Alright, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. I'll leave everyone's handle down in the description. I'm going to link the lights down in the description box below. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're one who is interested in learning a lot more about photography, editing, shooting, lighting and all, maybe you should try. You, sh you should consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, which is very important for me. You help me get some more cash you know, to live by in, in, in my country. I mean, she's rich. I'm not rich yet. So, the day I become rich, I'll change my name to Rich Joy. Or what do you think? We are me into the rich economy. Of course. <laughs> All right, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.